Hey, what's up guys? Bill Savage here with MacRumors.com and today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up Apple Pay. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that your phone is running the latest iOS version. In order to check, just go to your settings and under general choose software update. This will let you know if your phone is running the latest firmware or if it needs to be updated. After you've updated your phone, if you scroll down you'll see a new option for Passbook and Apple Pay. Tap on this and it will bring us to the Apple Pay setup. On this page it gives us the option to add credit and debit cards and underneath ask for information like our address, email, and phone number. To add a new card, all we have to do is tap on add credit or debit card and from here we're presented with two options. We can either use a card that's already on file with our current iTunes account or we can use a different card. If we choose to use a different card, it will bring us to a screen that will allow us to manually enter in a card's information. We have to fill out the name that appears on the card, the card number, expiration date, and the security code. Now if we didn't want to actually type out the whole card number, there is a little camera icon next to the card number field. Tapping that will bring up the camera and that will allow you to take a picture of your card and the number will be automatically filled in for you. If we go back, we also have the option to use a card that's associated with our iTunes account. When we choose this, the only information that we have to manually enter is the security code found on the back of the card. Once you enter that, it will verify your card and take you to a terms and conditions screen. Once you agree, your card will be added to Apple Pay. You may have to verify your card by calling your bank, however this step is not always required. Once your card is verified, it will appear at the top of the screen along with any other cards that you may have added. Below that, you actually have the option to choose a default card if you've added multiple cards. Underneath that, it asks for a billing and shipping address, as well as your email and phone number. All of these items can be chosen quickly from information from your contacts card, or you can enter it in manually. Another way to set up Apple Pay is by using the Passbook app. Once open, you'll see an option to set up Apple Pay, and from here you'll see the same options as before. We can use a card that's on file with our iTunes account or manually enter a card's information. The setup process is the same and once you're done your newly added card will show up in the Passbook app. And that's it guys, that was how to set up Apple Pay. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow us on Twitter at MacRumors, visit our site MacRumors.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Bill Savage, thanks for watching.